Dear graduates, distingués invités, mesdames et messieurs, family and friends, bonjour and welcome. My name is Anne-Marie Croteau. I am the dean of the John Wilson School of Business, la toute première femme à occuper ce poste. It gives me, it gives me, <laughs> merci. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this special ceremony. For you, our graduates, convocation is a time to celebrate important achievements and to reflect upon the future. You are now graduates of one of the best and largest business school in North America. You are part of a network of more than 200,000 alumni. As business leaders, you will be faced with many responsibilities and challenges. You will also have to make many difficult decisions. Yet, I trust that in those moments, you will be guided by the same values of humility, intellectual curiosity, and equity that guide us at the business school. On behalf of the JMSB community, I wish you all the very best. We are very, very, very proud of you. Be proud too. Félicitations à chacun et chacune de nos nouveaux diplômés. Now, please join Mrs. Colin Whiteley, mezzo-soprano, in the singing of O Canada. Good afternoon. French novelist Guillaume Apollinaire said, now and to then, it is good to pass in our pursuit of happiness and just be happy. Today is such a day. Aujourd'hui, il est bon de s'arrêter un instant et d'être tout simplement heureux. So let us be joyful. Let us celebrate the accomplishments of you, our graduates. Let us be content and marvel at the wonderful diversity that this university offers. Soyez heureux de la richesse de nos idées et de notre sagesse. Let us be grateful for the things we have learned, the people we have met, the challenges we've overcome, and the persons we have become. Alors prenons un moment et célébrons ensemble tout ce que nous sommes en tant qu'individus et en tant que communauté. Let us simply be, be present to each other, be thankful for this moment and this day. Thank you, please be seated. We vous asseoir. Bonjour, bienvenue à toutes et à tous. 
I'm Alan Shepard and I'm the president of the university. C'est un grand plaisir d'être parmi vous pour ce bel événement. I'd like to begin this afternoon by acknowledging that Concordia University and today's ceremony are located on unceded indigenous lands. The Ganyak Kehaga Nation are recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which we gather today. Chujage, or Montreal, is historically known as a gathering place for many First Nations. And today it's the home of a diverse population of indigenous and other peoples. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. And that's what today's festivities are all about. They're a celebration of community. To all of our graduates, all of us in the Concordia community are extremely proud of you. Your family and your friends, they're proud too. As hard as you've worked to get here, your education doesn't stop today. Education is, as you know, a lifelong process, and increasingly so as our knowledge society continues to accelerate. As you continue your learning, the ideas you've engaged with and the experiences you've had here at your alma mater will help you make sense of a complex world and become leaders in it. And Concordia will always be a part of who you are. As we celebrate your personal achievements, it's also important to remember that today is about the bigger picture. Your own education from kindergarten through an undergraduate degree or a graduate degree is also an investment in the greater social fabric in making our community stronger. And the world needs you. Partout où je rencontre des diplômés de Concordia, j'entends souvent l'histoire du changement positif que leurs expériences universitaires les ont apportées du grand succès dont ils bénéficient et la différence que même ils et elles apportent dans le monde. In the midst of our celebrations, I also want to ensure that we remember those who are less fortunate than us those who do not have the advantages of a university education, those who are affected by war, affected by poverty, and of course, affected by extremism. Education continues to be a powerful antidote to the world's problems. Education builds understanding and brings us together. Education makes hope possible. Felicitations encore, bonne chance et à la prochaine. Bonjour à tous. Je suis Françoise Bertrand, vice chair du uh, Board of Governors de Concordia. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Ms. Isabelle Hudon, a prominent figure in Quebec and Canadian business landscape, and as of recently, Canada's ambassador to France. It's with great emotion that I present a dear friend, une femme que j'admire, car à travers tous les moments de sa carrière, elle a su demeurer fidèle à elle-même, à ses valeurs, à ses amis, à ses principes. Throughout her career, Ms. Udon has demonstrated a shrewd leadership and dedication to corporate diversity. She has made clearing a path for women in business her mission. C'est en donnant l'exemple que Madame Hudon ouvre cette voie. Sa plus récente réalisation est historique. Je suis fière de dire qu'Isabelle Hudon est la première femme à être nommée ambassadrice du Canada en France. In promoting Canada's bond with France, she will be able to draw from her rich experience and her demonstrated resolve as a business leader. Ms. Udon's most recent corporate leadership role was an executive chair and senior vice president of client solutions at Sun Life Financial. She joined the company in 2010 as Quebec president and helped spur broad growth. 
Entre 2010 et 2013, les ventes d'assurance de la financière Sun Life au Québec ont plus que doublé et ces ventes de produits de gestion de patrimoine ont plus que triplé. Ms. Ludon has shown an understanding of change and has led the adaptation to change in her organization. We live, we know, in an increasingly busy and connected world. As a response, Sun Life, under the leadership of Isabelle, launched Hella, the first ever digital coach in the Canadian life insurance industry. Using big data and machine analytics, Ella offers tailored information and advice to clients. Beyond Sun Life, Ms. Sudon leadership has benefited the Board of Trade of Metropolitan Montreal, where she was the organization's first woman again, president and CEO, and its nearly 200-year history. Sous sa direction, la Chambre de commerce a lancé Cap sur le monde, un programme de stage de formation en entreprise pour les nouveaux immigrants. Her distinguished board memberships include Hydro-Québec, Canada Councils of the Arts, Old Friend Through, and many others. For her radiant career, Ms. Udon was recognized by Finance et Investissement as one of the top five in Quebec's financial industry. Ms. Udon has always devoted her time, knowledge, and talents to the cause of corporate diversity. She founded the nonprofit L'Effet A to help women achieve their career goals. Ms. Sudon was a member of government advisory committee that promotes corporate board memberships for women. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Ms. Isabelle Udon, so that you may confer upon her the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Now I would ask Dr. Udon to make her convocation remarks. Whenever you get to the podium, graduate, on the podium, breathe deep, and it's yours. Madame la vice-présidente du Conseil, Monsieur le Recteur, invités d'honneur, chers diplômés, parents et amis. Let me start by thanking Concordia University for this incredible honor. There are many reasons why I feel privileged to become today an honorary graduate of Concordia. But among all these reasons, there is one very and unique reason, and it is the opportunity to share this special moment with my parents. En effet, mes parents, mes deux parents, ont passé la majeure partie de leur carrière dans le domaine de l'éducation. Et sans surprise, ils ont toujours cru en la valeur de la formation universitaire. Inutile de vous dire que mon parcours académique, tout en méandre, les a longtemps inquiétés. Papa, maman, Jean-Guy, Coco, ce premier diplôme universitaire, vous l'aurez attendu longtemps. Merci de votre patience et d'avoir toujours cru en moi. Applaudissements. 
Since the moment I learned I was selected for this honor and that I would get the privilege to address you today, I've been thinking of what I will tell you. What can I say that will leave you with the conviction as you walk out the door that anything is possible? That you have the right to dream big that you are entitled to shoot for the moon, and that you can always feel confident that if you miss, you can indeed fall among the stars. This is how I decided to speak to you about courage. En choisissant de vous parler de courage cet après-midi, on pourrait être tenté de croire que j'ai emprunté le discours de Bernard Voyer que l'université a également reconnu plus tôt dans la journée un homme au courage exceptionnel. En effet, quel meilleur exemple de courage que les nombreuses et périlleuses expéditions de Bernard? En ski de fond, face au froid, au vent et à la neige, au pôle nord et au pôle sud, à bout de souffle et d'énergie au sommet de l'Everest. In our collective imagination, it is quite striking how usually we associate the idea of courage with great adversity, struggle, and even actual pain. Courage is seen in leaders making tough decisions who are acting decisively in difficult and challenging environments. Courage in our imagination is never equaled with taking the easy road or anything that looks simple. Well, what I would like to suggest to you today is that such a view of courage is in fact incomplete. It focuses on the spectacular and on the visible. And doing so, it misses a more important dimension of courage, the actual foundations of courage. I'm a true believer that courage is much more about persistency than bravery. Courage is not about doing what is difficult. It's about doing what is right. It's acting following one's principles and being faithful to one's commitments. In fact, I would say that there is no courage without personal integrity. Et cela, à mon avis, constitue une excellente nouvelle pour vous tous diplômés. Alors que vous vous apprêtez à lancer votre carrière et à conquérir le monde, souvenez-vous de ceci. Nul besoin d'être un ou une super-héros pour faire preuve de courage. You don't have to be dominant to be courageous. Indeed, one of the most remarkable display of courage we have seen recently has come from victims. All those women who have decided to say, me too, and denounce the sexual assaults they have been victim of, have shown the earth how courageous they are. And on that note, I would like to reiterate to everyone here today the obligation we have to support in different and many ways those victims. And as a mother, Arnaud, there is nothing more touching to get told that your son is the one on campus renowned to be the gentleman to all women. So back on courage. I wish to leave you with that courage is in everyone's reach provided one can look beyond the most spectacular displays of courage and can fully understand its foundations. These foundations, I believe, are a combination of three things. The first one is your beliefs, your core values, your integrity. What are the things you will stand for? What are the values you will not make any compromise on? That is something you should always be clear about and should take time to reflect about. If you aspire to be courageous, there, this is where it all starts. The second foundation of courage is facts and knowledge. It is the objective and rational information that you can rely on when making a decision. 
scientific research, business intelligence, strategic analysis. Gut feeling can be very powerful, but there is no excuse for not seeking facts to challenge and ultimately validate your instincts. So facts are essential to courage, and no wonder this is another reason why higher education is so precious. While university was not my favorite environment, I can tell you that I owe a big part of my professional success to the fact that I always surrounded myself with the most talented individuals. Anthropologists, biologists, actuaries, economists, MBAs, computer engineers, you name it. The third foundation of courage is just as important, and it is ambition. Ambition is an integral part of courage. More than being right about something, I think that it is ambition that makes leaving one's comfort zone bearable. Without ambition, I would have never ventured so far away from my comfort zone to take the leadership of Sun Life in Quebec and then, when success was quite well established for me in the financial sector, now to move to diplomacy. I guess what you have to remember is that I'm never afraid to be afraid. When beliefs, facts, and ambition are all aligned and brought together, something special happens, and it's called courage. By no means, I would suggest that courage is easy. But I sincerely believe that in most times, courage should feel comparatively easy. What I mean here is that when given an opportunity to act of all possible courses of action, acting according to your beliefs, referring to available and credible facts, and in line with your ambitions, it should be easier to do than to be unfaithful to any of those three items. Courage will help you persevere in front of a challenge, will help you face the strongest competition, and it will help you overcome your own doubts and fear of failure. Because there's a cause you believe in, because you've made your homework, you've studied the topic, the facts suggest you can do it, and because it would frankly feel bad to pass on this opportunity to finally go after that big dream of yours. As you all start a new chapter of your life, and as we live in a world that needs more than ever to be shaped by young, bright, and courageous individuals, here are three wishes I'd like to leave you with. First, be clear about your, what you believe in. Yet, make sure you think and question your values. Open yourself to different perspectives and allow yourself to evolve. Clarity doesn't mean rigidity. I sincerely believe that your core values and beliefs can only benefit from being exposed to a diversity of thought and people. In fact, it is one of the best arguments in favor of parity in workplace. First, women are 52% of the population, and facts are proving that the right mix of men and women in key influential roles produces greater value in dollars, in ideas, and in sustainability for any organization. Diversity will enrich your thinking. It will bring you to look at life through different lenses. My second wish for you is that you stay curious and thirsty for knowledge. Search for facts and value rigor. Never stop learning, whether it's from your professors, from your parents, from your bosses and mentors, and also from the people you will eventually lead and the talents you will mentor, and be ready also to learn from your kids. One of the greatest risks facing business people who have success 
is intellectual arrogance. Your colleagues, your employees have something to teach you. Your clients, too. Looking for insights from others might be the most precious skill you can develop in your career. And lastly, my third wish, be bold about your ambitions, and especially all of us women. Don't be afraid to be open about your goals and allow yourself to dream big. Ambition is an incredible driver for action, has been mine for many years, and it will be for many years to come. The future should not be about what's possible and impossible. In fact, the tools, the knowledge, and the skills that you've acquired inside Concordia's wall are so powerful that the expectations of what you can achieve and contribute to our society are now just higher than ever. On that note, congratulations to all of you Concordia graduates. And remember, the future should be about how you want and decide to shape it. Merci infiniment à l'Université Concordia de m'avoir permis de vivre ce moment très précieux. Merci à vous de l'avoir partagé avec moi et à nous tous, bon courage. Merci. When I first called Isabel Udon to say that the university would like to honor in this, on this occasion in this way, she was not yet Ambassador Udon. She was Madame Udon. And when her appointment as ambassador to France was named, I immediately worried that she would be off to France and unavailable to us. And I really wanted our students to hear from her. And it was my great pleasure that before I could write to her to say, Madame Udon, will you still be able to join us? She wrote to me saying, Nothing can be more important to me, and I will not leave for France until we've had this convocation ceremony. That was a very touching moment. Thank you so much. In a, top, in a topsy-turvy world that we all have at the moment, I think we can agree that uh, Ambassador Udon, Dr. Udon, will represent Canada and all of us extremely well on the world stage. Thank you so much for your service. And may I now call to the podium the provost of the university, Graham Carr. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the doctoral and doctorate, master and magisteriate degrees, and the graduate diplomas and certificates in the John Molson School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Monsieur le Recteur et Vice-Chancelier, au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats au doctorat et à la maîtrise, ainsi qu'au diplôme et au certificat de deuxième cycle de l'École de gestion John Monson. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences de ces grades, diplômes et certificats. Will the doctoral and doctorate, master and magisteriate, diploma and certificate candidates please stand? We're just waiting for some lights to come up so we can all see you. They'll be coming in a moment. I don't have a switch up here. Um, by the powers granted in the university charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the Provost. En vertu de l'autorité que me confère la charte de l'université, 
and for the approbation du Senat et l'attestation, there we go, du vice-rectorat exécutif aux affaires académiques, je vous dessine les grades, diplômes ou certificats que vous postulez. Would you please be seated? Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the bachelor and baccalaureate degrees and the undergraduate certificates in the John Molson School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. Monsieur le Recteur et Vice-Chancelier, au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats et candidates au baccalauréat ainsi qu'au certificat du premier cycle de l'École de gestion John Monson. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences de ces grades. Will the bachelor and baccalaureate and undergraduate certificate candidates please stand? By the powers granted in the university charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree as approved by Senate and certified by the Provost. En vertu de l'autorité que me confère le charte de l'université et pour l'approbation du Senat et la testation du vice-rectorat exécutif aux affaires académiques, je veux descendre les croix que vous postulez. Would you please be seated? And as our graduates prepare to cross the stage, I invite you to enjoy the music of the Encore Brass Quintet. pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy from the following programs. Business Administration, Individualized Program, Commerce, Economics. Hamid Ganbari.
Guillaume Pain. Chun Chang. James Wan. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Business Administration. Yusuf Albdarida. Brandon Abraham. George Matthew Aina. Dustin Arliss. Christian Babu. David Brown. Andrew Carzoli. Andrea Clark. Christopher Cardina Lucia. Annalise Delia. Madeline Doyle. Rosanna Fazio. Jessica Forbes. Amanda Fraser. Richard Frazeo. Dana Jacoby. Ralph Grace. Christine Antush. Crystal Healy. Ava Hadari. Sergin Antonji. <laughs> Julian Hoshos Jolwala. Juan Huertas. Juan Hortas. <laughs> Mina Ibrahim. Shagarsan Ilnalgalathan. Sorry. Angelo Isaac. Angelo Isaac. 
Katija Kassam. Ravni Kaur. Siva Ramakrishna Keshnapali. Krastio Komsalov. Krastio Komsalov. Komsal Rong. Anton Kornetsky. Chris Lamott. Chris Lamott. Rami Latif. Sarah Lusheb. Christina Lemire -La Macro. Edward Lyon. Edward Lyon. Devin McDougal. Lahari Madala. Corey McCormick. Trenton Miller. Marinu Nada. Ahmad Naimi. Sarah Nasser. Eliane Naimi. Maysam Namati. Stefan Papino. Ulimat Pariso. Stephanie Peroni. Razvan Gabriel Pop. Cinzia Roberto. Mohamed Saleh. Ihab Salem El Masri. Ihab Salem El Masri. Yasser Kabakibo. Yasser Kabakibo. Nitin Shetty. Nitin Shetty. Sean Smoker. Sean Smoker. Margaret Snell. Mirella Sosa Thoney. Mirella Sosa Thoney. Evan Steves. Jeremy St. Pierre. Jeremy St. Pierre. Anju Sadal. Anju 
Taura Taba Tabe Sultani. George Talley. Gladys Tiama Maggi. <laughs> Julia Woolsey. <laughs> Josephine Yaksmith. <laughs> Rafi Zarukian. Elena Zvigina. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Science in the following programs, Administration, Finance, Management, and Marketing. Hang Yue. Ashley Flesh. Chang Li. Wei Chang R. Victor. Natalia Cazzoni. Chan Chan Nguyen. Chan Chan Nguyen. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate diploma in the following programs. Accountancy, Business Administration, Chartered Accountancy. Mohammed Reyes Anjum. Sasha Cardinal. Uzoma Ezei. Adriana Lara. Elam Nikui Fard. Sultanat Sadikova. Pierina Violante. Karin Boisvert Poporino. Gilbert Brophy Cortez. Shane Cavaluzzi. Shane Cavaluzzi. John Datinguino. Mohammed George Dico. Mo GR. Ricardo Maurizio Cardelli. Christopher Magori. David Pereira. David Picarella. Nathaniel Port.
Sabrina Provo. Latiza Sevenison. Sophie Werner. Rosalie Will. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate certificate in the following program. Business Administration. Beruz Kademian. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate and Administration. Matteo Agostinelli. Ralitza Bonceva. Ralitza Bonceva. Kadim Krucheng. Kadim Krucheng. Matthew Folides. Matthew Folides with distinction. Francis Gilbert Coté. Ming Hui Hu. Homaira Kabir. Kai Liu. Kai Liu. Liang Yilu. Liang Lu. Julianne McDonald. Julianne McDonald. <laughs> Mahmoud Mohammed Mahmoud. Aslihan Ozturk. Tian Magali Razafinanazu. Dennis Simotas. Dennis Simotas. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments, Accountancy, Economics, Finance. Matthew Agnello. Matthew Agnello. Jonathan Atias. Jonathan Atias Bengira. Parambir Baines. Taranjit Basi with distinction. Corina Berard. Michele Bono. Michele Bono. Carlos Burroughs with distinction. Matthew Cape with distinction. Stephanie Chabot. Stephanie Chabot. Victor Chen. Yiming Chen. 
Iming Chen. Claudia Clermont with distinction. Jared Cohen. Jared Cohen. Anthony Kuri Aboud. Anthony Kuri Aboud. Amélie de Carimondor. Jem Wilson de Castro. Walid El Tahan. Walid El Tahan. Jonathan Exel. Jonathan Exel. Marta Francis Pillay. Ilya Galanakis. Queen Gao. Yoni Hazan. Madangi Kandeya. Xiang Jing Kong. Edward Anthony Lam. Edward Anthony Lam. How Dong Liu. Eliza Lamera. Eliza Lamera. Talisa Lucia. Lina Mekid. Kalei Munizami with distinction. Sandra Nasser. Melanie Negreanu. Melanie Negreanu with distinction. Robin O'Connor. Robin O'Connor with distinction. Hanong O. Leonard Parr. Jeet Patel. Jeet Patel. <laughs> Krishna Patel. Tran Pham. Kirushant Razia. Kirushant Razia. Ambarasi Ratnasami. Ambarasi Ratnasami with distinction. Freddy Rodriguez. Freddy Rodriguez Fernandez with distinction. Christian Rosanda. <laughs> Subanki Sat Kunanatan. Timothy Gordon Shaw. Timothy Gordon Shaw. Jurassic <laughs> 
Gerasmus Cavidas. Ryan Smith Dallaire. Ryan Smith Dallaire. Rihanna Sylvester. Kim Yang Tong. Michael Tran. Z Wang. Shia Wei. Amanda Wong. Amanda Wong. Han Yu Zhao. Yan Zhou. Yan Zhou. Nusrat Zahan Biswas. Adelia Garcia. Adelia Garcia. Ayad Al-Adal. Sermed Al-Shalabi. Sermed Al-Shalabi. Faris Al-Kasmi. Brandon Anderson. Brandon Anderson. Nicola Atiyye. Nicola Atiyye. Marwan Baz Radwan. Marwan Baz Radwan. Disha Bargav. Disha Bargav with distinction. Xin Chen Bian. Xin Chen Bian. Gianni Vincenzo Bisignano with distinction. Rajpal Brar. Rajpal Brar. Cedric Celestin. Cedric Celestin. Tristan Chariot with distinction. Kyle Da Camara. Steven Dadamo. Steven Dadamo. Fabio Danisi. Fabio Danisi. Shibna Data. Bradley Davis. Maral Alice Demergian. Madison Alia Dak. Ivan Igorov. Yara Al Ghazal. Johnny Algiz. John Fabrizio with distinction. Yundi Fang. Aziz 
Aziza Ganieva. Rasha Ghanem. Thank you, Dr. Kanan. I can't tell this one. Dan Glickstein. Dan Glickstein. Robert Gold. Robert Gold, with distinction. Jia Yi Han. Justine Iskandar. Ahmed Amar Karim. Hawa Kita. Hawa Kita. Julie Cochin. Jonathan Koshelnak. Jonathan Koshelnak. Favorite person, Alex Georgiakles. Alexandra Georgiakles. I'm pleased to continue to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following department, Finance. Emma Alexandra Lachance. Emma Alexandra Lachance, with distinction. Camille Larbalestier. Camille Larbalestier. Jie Yu Li. Qian Ying Li. Qian Ying Li. Ashley Magana. Ashley Magana. Mursaline Miano. Mursaline Miano. France Nantel. Jad Nezamedin. Jad Nezamedin. Nguyen Dak Vinh Huy. Daniel Paclarian. Daniel Paclarian. Andrew Panunzio. Andrew Panunzio. Roman Parashuk. Roman Parashuk. Julien Pericot. Quoi femme. Quoi femme. Paul Rapagna. Paul Rapagna. <laughs> Virginie Renier Trudeau. Nicholas Rossi with distinction. Sophia Saya. Sophia Saya. Shana Sharin. Shana Sharin. Ezadin Soleiman. Ezadin Soleiman.
Akash Srivastava. Jonathan Massimo Cinziani. Andrew Terreros. Daniel Thaw with distinction. Pierre André Trottier Kaisala. Farhana Udin. Farhana Udin. Marcella Urena. Marcella Urena. Iran Wang. Jiachi Wu. The love snowbird bit on Mohammed Shifa. Thank you. Talal Snowbar is accepting the posthumous degree on behalf of Accepting the posthumous degree on behalf of Talal Snowbar is Mohammed Sherpao. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments. International Business, Management, Marketing, Supply Chain, and Business Technology Management. Charlotte Boivin. Émilie Léger. Émilie Léger. Emily Martins. Anthony Montuoro. Anthony Montuoro. Clementine Pereira. Clementine Pereira. Waleti Ram Sharma. Waleti Ram Sharma. Abu Bakar Sam Touré. Jing Zhao. Jing Jing Zhao. Tina Abu El Jalad. Hanan Al Masood. Danny Asfor. Jennifer Atze. Jennifer Atze. Alexander Bagelfer. Iman Bouimage. Iman Bouimage. Jessica Couture. Jessica Couture. Sarah Michelle Elvidge with distinction. Veronique Foley. Guillaume Jacob. 
Guillaume Jacob. Karine Perrault. Anthony Raimondo. Joseph Sabella. Joseph Sabella. <laughs> Stephanie Staskovich. <laughs> Yara Tabara. Yasmin Aitbihi. Badr Al Hassani. Isabella Caivano. Isabella Caivano. Zhuo Feng Shen. Ariane Ducharme. Alessandro Ferry. Alessandro Ferry. Gabriel Gagné. Gabriel Gagné. Luke Anthony Gavita. Luke Anthony Gavita. Emile Girard. Shaima Hassan. Mariceles Jimenez. Sori Ibrahim Kabore. Alexandre Eli Caplo. Daniel Kozel. Daniel Kozel. Shanna Labrec. Jonathan Levy. Karen Liu. Pinchuan Liu. Liu Yuan Chen. Liu Yuan Chen with distinction. Ana Lucia Marquez. Elisa Medellin Gonzalez. Elisa Medellin Gonzalez. Leah Michelis. Leah Michelis. Justine Moreau. Justine Moreau. Gabriela Oliveira. Shona Pietrantonio. David Rinaldi. Alejandro Rodriguez Lopez. Shinru Shen. Eric Spencieri. Eric Spencieri with distinction. Christopher Chavisa. 
Christopher Tabrizi, <laughs> Olivia Tory, Eve, Eve Zabal, Claire Duanjam. Claire Duan Zhang. Shadi Azar. Shadi Azar. Stephanie Talar Bazimijian. Salina Brotto. Donna Chan. Etienne Kret with distinction. Liana Diorio with distinction. Daniel Galupo. Zahra Jafari. Mie Jie Li with distinction. Modi Li. Modi Li. Annabella Medeiros. Charles Pacelli. <laughs> Mohammed Sef. Leah Saker. Leah Saker again. <laughs> Xin Rong Wang. <laughs> Esther Vaknin. My pleasure now to introduce the valedictorian of the Sears class, Dr. Hamid Nanbari, defended his doctoral dissertation called Three Essays in Theoretical and Empirical Derivative Pricing under the supervision of Professor Silianos Paracas in the Department of Finance. His thesis made a special contribution in terms of methodological innovations to the valuation and analysis of index and equity options particularly that the options markets, which are among the most active financial markets in existence, play a major role in forecasts of economic activities. Dr. Ganbari has published widely and received numerous awards, including the Graduate Student Mobility Award, the Bruno Pateras Doctoral Scholarship, and the TD Bank Financial Group Fellowship in Business Education. Dr. Ganbari is currently an Assistant Professor of Finance at the University of Lethbridge, I would like to now ask Dr. Hamid Ganbari to give a valedictory address.
President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Vice Chairwoman Berkhan, Dr. Uden, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, family and friends, a very good afternoon to all of you. I'm honored to have been delivered, to have been chosen to deliver today the valedictorian address on behalf of the graduating students of, of the class of 2017. Fellow graduates, my most sincere congratulations for reaching this important landmark in your life. However you got here, you made it. Nonetheless, let me also remind you that you and I are here because of our mentors and our loved ones who stood by our side, cheered us on, and helped us get here. Those who never lost faith in us, even though we might at times have lost faith with ourselves. Those who have congratulated us on every achievement we have had over the past 20 years or so, whatever is small. Now it's time to thank parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, all the family and friends. Let them know that this is their day as well. Let's give them a big round of applause, those that are here today with us and those that are far away in distant lands. Before I begin, I would like to thank my PhD supervisor, Dr. Istilianus Prachis, who unfortunately couldn't, be, couldn't attend the ceremony because of a serious family health issue. This journey could have never been completed without his inspiration, guidance, and of course, his faith in my abilities. I will always remember the experience of working with him throughout the rest of my professional career. I would also like to thank the members of my dissertation committee for their support and valuable thesis comments. On behalf of all of you, I would, also I would also take this opportunity to offer our gratitude to our lecturers, professors, administrators, and all staff members for their contribution toward our success. Not long time ago, I decided to leave my job in order to pursue a doctoral degree in finance. I'm very fortunate that I obtained that in Canada, and in particular at Concordia University's JMSP, one of the leading business schools worldwide. Among others, I want to emphasize that how grateful I am to have become part of one of the most diverse student bodies among Canadian institutions, a diversity that allow us to become bigger, stronger, richer, and more dynamic and inclusive. The same things hold true when it comes to gender equality. Here we have learned how to overcome our differences in order to work towards constructive cooperation for a better future for ourselves, for our children, for our university, and for our society. Let's be happy because we have had a great time here and because we have accomplished so much. Today, you join a long line of alumni and alumni whose energy and intellect have lifted this university's reputation to heights its founders could have never have imagined. Remember also that despite our hard work and great outcomes, our best work still lies ahead. Today is a new beginning. Whatever path you choose, business, government, nonprofit, education, healthcare, and the arts, whatever it is, prepare yourself for the inevitable setbacks that you will encounter. You will have a boss that's not great. You will not always get everything you want, at least not as fast as you want. You will be frustrated. Yet, you have to stick with it. Remember that progress 
has never been smooth or steady. It has been bumpy, and it remains uneven indeed. You have to be persistent, and success, however small, however incomplete, success is still success. That's how progress happens, both in our own life and in our own society. So do not lose hope or faith if, something, if sometimes you hit a roadblock. I can tell you that this is one of my fondest PhD experience. The ah oh moments are worth cherishing, just as aha moments. Mistakes, failures, embarrassments, and disappointments are necessary components of growing wise. You can learn more from not so good, not so good experiences that we can learn from our good ones. So, when your journey seems too hard, don't lose hope in the face of naysayers and cynics. Such people spend their lives waiting for a moment that just doesn't come. Don't let that be you. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time waiting. I never did myself, especially when I decided to do my dissertation in a theoretically demanding and empirically challenging topic, when they told me that this is impossible. You can't do it. You should just give up and settle with an easier topic. I kept fighting for what I believed in. Today, I proved that they are wrong indeed. When you face these naysayers, you need to have the same confidence as I did. You should tell yourself what I have found handy these past years. Yes, I can. It's your turn, class of 2017. I want you to keep pushing forward. Just keep pushing forward. The good news is, you guys give me a lot of hope that we can overcome the obstacles that we will face in the future in order to bend the arc of our school and, of course, our society in the direction of growth, opportunity, and prosperity. My hope for you is that you can find the gratitude joy and meaning, not just on the good days like today, but on the road ahead, especially when you really need it. I wish you all the very best in the new adventures in your life, and keep that in mind, you will always be JMSB and Concordia alumni. Congratulations, class of 2017, and good luck. Professor Gunbari, you said that your classmates out there give you a lot of hope. Honestly, you give me a lot of hope. Congratulations. Your students at Lethbridge are very, very lucky to have you. And diversity is a giant strength of this faculty and this university. Congratulations, graduates. Where's one last step? I call in the provost to make some final remarks. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci d'être venus en si grand nombre aujourd'hui de partager avec nous la joie de nos diplômés. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the terrific graduating class of 2017. Now, graduates, the ceremony is almost over, and I hope it's been an exhilarating marker of the time that you've spent here with us at Concordia. Convocation is a rite of passage into what we sincerely hope will be an incredibly bright future for all of you. But before you step into that future, let's take a moment to steal a page from Hamed's speech. Think about, honor, and thank the people who accompanied you on the journey to today, because after all, you can't say thank you often enough or sincerely enough. Some of those people may in fact be faculty members or staff who are sitting beside me up here on the stage. Some of them are for sure your fellow students with whom you've gone through thick or thin the last few years. But graduates, could I just ask you to stand up for a moment, 
turn around and thank all the family members, partners, and friends who've been with you every step of the way to today's destination. Uh, graduates, on this uh, day of messages, there's just one more. And that is that uh, Concordia is a great university with the promise of an even greater future ahead of it. And today, on this day, there is no better measure either of our success or of our potential than all of you. We will always be your university. And as alumni of Concordia, you will always be our best ambassadors. Thank you for having chosen our university as the pathway to your future. You honored us with your choice. And now, as this ceremony comes to a close, please allow us to toast your success with a vin d'honneur in the lobby outside. Merci, félicitations, au revoir, à bientôt.